right, so in this video right here, we're going to be working with models. So what is the model? Well, Rails is an MVC framework, and that's the pattern that it uses in order to accomplish uh, building web applications. In this video right here, we're gonna be covering the M part of the MVC. So the model is responsible for interacting with the database. So anytime you have an object that you need to store in the database where you need to save it or you need to retrieve it, uh, you are going to be working with the model. Let's hop over to the terminal over here and use the Rails model generator to create our first model. So over here, what I'm going to do is Rails G. So G stands for generate. So you can also use the generate the full word. But in this case, we're going to use G model post title string description, or we can use body text. And what this is going to do is it's going to create the, uh, our first model in our application. And the reason why we use a string data type is because the title is not going to be that long. It's going to be, you know, maybe not more than even 200 characters mostly. But our body is going to store a large amount of data because, you know, like what if you have like a three page long article that you want to post on your blog? Well, you know, th th this column needs to be to able to handle that. And so the text field type allows us to do just that. So I'm going to hit enter. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate a few files for us. And we're going to go to, through each one. And I'm going to explain what each one does and what's their responsibility. So uh, let's start with this db migrate file over here. So I'm going to hop over to the uh, text editor. And this is the what we call a migration file. Now, a migration file is responsible for uh, doing modifications to the database structure. So anytime you want to add columns, add tables, uh, you're going to do them through migrations. And what this has done is it's generated the first migration file for us. And what this is going to do is it's a, it's a file that will create the table called posts with the following columns. Let me explain a little bit about timestamps. So timestamps uh, are what we use to record when things happen. In this case, the timestamps is gonna generate two fields for us. It's the updated at and the created at. And as you can guess from the name, updated at is changed every time the object is updated, like changed, like we need to change the title, change the, the body or whatever. Uh, it's gonna change the updated at timestamp. And the creation, the created at timestamp is basically, uh, it's, it's updated you know, it's, it's stamped when we create the object. So that's the only time it's ever used is, you know, when the object is created. So we know, like, for example, you know, like, for example, if you're creating a, a Twitter clone, you create a tweet, you know, when you, when you see the two days ago um, time, that's how they use uh, the creation date to update, you know, on the, on the UI, they show how long ago the post was, the tweet was created. So in this case, we're using posts because we're creating a blog. Uh, it's not that different from, from a, a Twitter clone, but, you know, with some difference. So this is the first file. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. The next one is the, app, the actual model file. So in here, uh, this is a pretty simple model, and we're going to start simple. This is a Rails Foundation course, after all. We're going to see that it says class, post, uh, and this is inherit. Uh, syntax in Ruby. So it's inheriting from active record base. So uh, what that means, anytime you see active record base, you know that it's working with the database. The active record class in Rails is what's responsible for connecting to the database and talking to the database, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this file. And then we have the test model post test. Um, Rails has a test framework included. So what this is basically doing is generating kind of like the template um, that we can use to write the test for the post model. And we also can create fixtures. We're gonna talk about testing a little bit later down the line. For now, just know that they're there. And we're gonna focus on the actual model itself. So once we have the model generated, the next thing we are going to need to do is uh, run the migration. And how do we do that? Very simple. Rake db migrate. So what this is going to do is it's going to actually update the database uh, with the commands that was passed in the migration file. So in this case, it's actually going to create our post table for us. 
Now I'm going to open up a um, my database uh, PG Commander to show you guys that the database has indeed been created. So we're using rightfully development. And as you can see here, the post um, the post table is now created. And as you can see, the title, the body created at, updated at, as I talked about before. Now, um, Rails will also, the migration file will also create a ID, which is a primary key um, for us. Uh, and this is, you know, how we reference which object, like for example, you know, if you want to load like uh, the post with ID one or two, uh, you can use a primary key to find uh, the post that you're referring to. And let's demonstrate that. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to load up the console. So Rails C. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our first post. So post equals post.create. And in this case, we uh, are going to say the title is hello world. Fitting, right? And the body is going to be the first post of our blog. Simple. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, it's going to display us some SQL. Uh, and now it's already committed and written our data into the database. So let's go and take a look. So as you can see, the ID is automatically generated for us. Then we have the title, then we have the body, created at, updated at. Simple, right? Uh, we can also update. So um, for example, if I, you know, I still have a reference to the object, so post, it's still got that object in memory. So what I can do is I can do post.title equals hello world with two exclamation marks. Hit enter post.save. What this is going to do is it's going to update our um, object in the database. So if I hit reload over here, you'll see that now the title has two exclamation points. Uh, we can also delete. So if I can do post.destroy, that's going to delete our object from the database. There you go, it's gone. Um, so let's try and create another object. Post equals post dot, dot create title. Hello. Again. Body. Yay. All right. So if I hit reload, um, you'll see here that you know it's it's come back. Like we created our, our another object. So we can also create um, multiple objects. You can see here. Um, so we're going to keep it pretty simple uh, in this episode. We just walked through creating a generating a model. Uh, we saw the migration file. We understand what the migration is responsible for. We then went ahead and created a few objects and stored it in the database. And we also learned how to update those objects. I'll see you guys in the next video.